Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. Welcome back. He's known as the Bulldog among many of the student wrestlers he coached, but underneath the toughness is a Vietnam veteran with a whole lot of heart. Hannah Adamson and photojournalist Nick Kiefer share his story in tonight's Veteran Salute. As a teenager, Rick Wilzinski knew it would only be a matter of time before he landed in Vietnam. Taking charge of his own destiny just 10 days before his 17th birthday, Wilzinski enlisted into the delayed entry program, passing all six required tests to earn a GED in one day. On my 17th birthday, I took the oath. Sharing a smile wherever he went. Rick Wilzinski quickly making a name for himself during basic training. I had a platoon sergeant once ask me if I was stupid because I was smiling all the time. A skilled sharpshooter, Wilzinski won basic rifle marksmanship during his time at Fort Knox. Shooting is a deteriorating skill. If you don't use it a lot, you, 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 you'll lose it. Becoming the honor trainee of the cycle. I was pretty gung-ho until it time to leave San Francisco. During Vietnam, Wilzinski was assigned to the 101st Airborne, arriving at a receiving station in Benoit, eventually making his way to Camp Eagle. And Camp Eagle was um, southeast of Hue, and um, then I, I was told I had to go to Camp Evans, which I didn't want to go because it's only 20 clicks from the DMZ. And Flying in helicopters and for a time manning an airborne assault vehicle. 101st Streaming Eagles, 45 missions, and that's a, that's a lot of missions, 12 months and 12 days. But it wasn't long after his arrival that his sharpshooting skills were put to the test. Our uh, sniper had gotten captured, so they found out that what well, I was a good shooter, you know, and that I had schooling. So I got sucked out of my Sheridan, so uh, made a nailer out of me. He says a split-second decision to shoot a child soldier haunts him to this day. Sometimes you wonder if you're going to go to heaven. The pain exacerbated by a rude awakening when he returned home from his one-year tour. When we come back, we got no love from nobody. Wilzinski would go on to serve for six years in the military. When I got out, I wanted to be a policeman. So I applied at five places, passed every fast all the shooting tests, passed physical tests, passed everything. Couldn't pipe, couldn't pass the psyche valve. They say you're gonna be too likely to shoot, and which is, I look back at it now, it's true. Wilzinski went on to work for Boeing, re-winging fighter planes. But while his fight on the battlefield was over, the fight for his health was just beginning. Agent Orange stays inside you till it until it comes out. It might be, you know, five years. It might be 50 years. Spending months in the hospital. You know, one time was 11 and a half months. I got out for a month, went right back for 10. You know, been in nursing homes for recovery from a stroke, lost my leg. But Wilzinski says one thing always kept him going through the tough times. I've just been blessed with good people. All in all, I've had a really blessed life. Really good friends. Really good friends. You got to take a weird situation and make it your own. And if you make it your own and you learn what you're supposed to learn, you know, you bought as, bought as clean going out the back door as when you come in the front door if you do it right. And while Wilzinski says he's the one who's truly blessed, it's a shared feeling among so many lives he's touched through the years. One of his former bosses at Boeing asking him. Do you think it's us that's been blessed with you? Because when I like somebody, I'm loyal. Sharing his smile and love of life with the next generation. I coached wrestling for every, lots of kids. Lot, had 25 old wrestlers last, last Christmas. Love you, Bulldog. Love you, Coach. All the time. You take everything you learn in life and put it all together and then throw away the crap and then try to become the best guy you can, you know? Wilzinski says one of the most important pillars of his life is his wife, Sandy, of 44 years. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3. The Devon James Injury Lawyers here with our Veteran of the Week and that's Buck Sergeant Rick Wilsinski, who faithfully served our country during the Vietnam War. He was in the 101st Airborne Division. On behalf of all of Kansas, Rick, thank you so much for your service. Thank you very, very much. It was an honor to serve. I wouldn't say it's a pleasure, but it was an honor. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.